When a consumer product company or fine fragrance brand puts out a call for a fragrance, perfumers compete to find the perfect scent for the client. Sometimes I'll see a color and I start to design in my head. I, I bought a new golf shirt a couple of weeks ago and it was really, I bought it because I really loved the color and I started in my head designing a fragrance for that color. Every time you start a new project, it's like a, a wonderment, like a, a, a child with a, a new toy, you know. <laughs> so you, you get all excited. You have uh, one extreme where someone comes, says, well, I would like a scent for, for me or for my brand or for my space. You have an image of what, where you want to, what you want to achieve. But from having that image to achieving it takes sometimes a year or two of work. Sometimes we just give up on a fragrance because it's, it's just not moving in the direction yeah. that we like. It happens that many times you start on one vision and you realize it's not the right direction and you switch courses and you rethink it and then take another tack. You have a palette of 3,000 ingredients. If you're creating for, a, let's say, an air care product and you want to be commercial about it, usually in the neighborhood of 25 to 35 ingredients. When you're designing for toiletry products, that palette goes up significantly. Okay, and when you're designing for um, fine fragrances, it's not unusual to have uh, upwards of 70 or 80 individual materials in there. So we had a client that actually sent us pictures, and they were trying to create a fragrance that would best uh, invoke the essence of George Clooney or Cary Grant. We would discuss like what, a, what fragrance type would really personify a George Clooney type of man who was alluring, who was sophisticated, who you really wanted to get to know. Maybe like if it was an oceanic note, if it was something like that was cool or refreshing. The customer had an emotion that they wanted to convey, and we needed to make it into a, a tangible fragrance juice, if you will. Nancy has an idea, I have an idea, we take a look at it, and then we really start to brainstorm taking a piece of this fragrance and a piece of this fragrance. My job, in essence, is to be the uh, liaison between the cut, what the customer wants and um, what the perfumer wants, if you will, and to kind of coax out from the perfumer what the customer really needs from a project. Most perfumers are temperamental and moody, so she has to kind of work with, you know, that kind of attitude and kind of bring out what this project needs. So she's at times my muse, she's my master, and everything in between in order to extract, you know, that creative essence to satisfy the client.